Khaled Salah is a spokesperson for the Syrian National Coalition, and he joins us now from Istanbul. Mr. Salah, good to talk to you. If you would, tell me why the coalition reached out to Geneva Calls to produce this material. Well, one of the things, one of the problems that we've noticed uh, over the last two years and as the revolution progressed, more and more civilians had to pick up arms to defend themselves. Uh, these are people who never had any military training. Um, some of them uh, do not understand international uh, human rights law. And we felt that there is a need to provide education to help them understand what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. Uh, we start looking to produce those, uh, those videos ourselves, those ads. Uh, we, uh, through that, we ran into the organization Geneva Call, which was working on the same project. Um, my media office and Geneva Call came together to produce those videos. Okay, so in the case of a conflict like uh, what's happening right now on the ground in Syria, you're talking really about asymmetric warfare. Uh, rebels and civilians don't have the military power that uh, a government has. Is it unrealistic? to think that these individuals, militias, brigades, will abide by the so-called rules of war? Uh, yes, I think, I think that, is, uh, that is the case. That's yeah. something that the Syrian coalition and the uh, Syrian SMC, the Supreme Military Council, is advocating. At the end, we have some rules that we follow ourselves because of our ethics and moral grounds that we, that we hold. Uh, our teacher is not Assad, and what, uh, he's not going to force us to do things that are not acceptable to us. And that's what we see. We see great response from the commanders at the different FSA brigades, uh, the leadership at the SMC level. Uh, and uh, we've been conducting we've been conducting workshops with the with the FSA leadership. We're bringing different elements from the FSA over the last couple of months, uh, teaching them about international uh, human rights law. And the response has been uh, tremendous. Yeah. Uh, generally speaking, how concerned are you that um, rebel atrocities um, are undermining the rebel cause? Uh, that these groups will be seen as no better than Assad's heavies. Well, you have to you have to uh, to understand that yes, there are some atrocities, uh, or some mistakes. Actually, let me say there are some mistakes committed by the rebels, uh, but we deal with those mistakes and we address them and we make sure that they do not happen again. Uh, they are not systematic. While if you compare that, you compare it to what the Assad regime does, there is a systematic approach of targeting civilians and and uh, and uh, really killing them on daily on daily basis. The challenge that I see is. Assad is expected to commit mistakes. Uh, sort of uh, the, the media in general expects Assad to, on a on, on daily basis, to kill 200 to 300 people. But when a mistake is, happen, is, uh, is carried on or happens by the rebels, there is a higher moral, moral ground yes, that yes. the rebels are expected to hold. Uh, we're, we're trying to, to help the rebels uh, correct their, their path when they make mistakes. And at the same time, we're trying to educate the world that, yes, there are mistakes that will happen. So practically, how would these videos be used? You, you, you have to start, it seems to me, with the commanders first you, who have to share that information with, with the fighters, correct? So what we do is uh, there, there are several things that we do. So the videos will be aired on several TV, uh, TV stations who are willing to help us to spread the message because they understand uh, the importance of spreading that, that message. Uh, something else that we're doing is we're actually doing the same messages in a printed format and we're distributing those all across Syria to all the different FSA brigades. The last thing that we're doing is we're actually conducting workshops to educate the FSA leadership about, uh, about the messages that we have in those videos about international human rights law. Uh, and what we do is prior to conducting any of those workshops, we will ask different FSA brigades to nominate individuals, individuals who are qualified to attend these workshops, who will be able to learn from these workshops and who will be able to take the message and educate their okay. uh, comrades about the messages that we have. Uh, Mr. Saleh, I appreciate it. Khalid Saleh is a spokesperson for the Syrian National Coalition joining us from Istanbul. Thank you, sir.